I'm on the floor again, so you know what that means. Something that has to do with my makeup. Although you already know because you can see the title. So that didn't really work. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna finally show you guys how I do my eyebrows. I think I've done it in like past videos, like past, past videos, but my recent like kind of makeup-esque videos, I haven't really shown you guys how I do my eyebrows. I just kind of like skipped over that because like it took way too long and I wasn't gonna put it in the video. But today, I'm finally doing it. I'm on summer break. I have time to film, but not really because I have lots of stuff to do over the summer. But I wanted to film. If you notice that one is sharper than the other one, that's because I'm gonna show you guys how I define my eyebrow, one of the eyebrows. And I just didn't feel like going back and defining the other one because, you know, I'm really lazy. So, yeah, I hope you guys keep on watching and enjoy. Hey again, guys. So, as you can see, I literally have no eyebrows and my eyebrow cream is not strong at all. Oh my gosh. So, the first thing I do is usually I brush them out. Some days I forget. Most days I do it just to make sure that they're like all in the right space and my eyebrow hairs aren't like sticking out in any like weird places. Then I take my Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate and the first thing I do is make a line pretty much underneath my eyebrow and kind of create a little ring. And then I go on top and try to fill it in also. It's kind of hard for me to do this on camera, but then I go back to the front a little bit, try to tuffle it up, make it look natural and go back to the top. Sorry, you can't really see this part. I'm trying to work on like my arch and everything and try to give it like an overall outline of where my eyebrow should be. And then after that, I use my Wet n Wild Eye Coal. It's actually an eyeliner, but I use it for my eyebrow because it goes on like really smooth, guys. Like I love it so much. And I usually focus that on the outer three fourths of my eyebrow. And next, I go back in with my angled brush from e.l.f. just to kind of clean up the eyeliner. And I also use my finger a bit just to like fix it up. Oh, you see right there? There. I fix it up with my finger to make my um, wing kind of sharp. And at the end of the video, you'll see that I go in with my finger too and also dab the front of my eyebrow just to make sure it has that kind of like ombre effect that looks more like natural instead of just like a big block on my face. And I'm also sorry guys if I sound a bit nasally, my allergies have been acting up so bad for the last couple of days, so forgive me, please. There you go guys, that is what my finished everyday brow looks like and you can kind of see it compared to my non-existent other brow. So now I'm just going to fast forward through my other one so you guys can see the whole process without any distractions. When I finish both eyebrows, I kind of go back in with my brush, make sure everything is kind of symmetrical or as symmetrical as it can be. My brows never look the same, so I kind of make sure the arch is kind of in the same place. My wings aren't going in like two totally different directions. One brow isn't more blockier than the other, stuff like that. So now I want to show you guys what it would look like if I put concealer around my eyebrow to kind of clean it up. I usually do this if I'm going out like to a really nice place, maybe like a dance, like homecoming or something. I've literally only done this like three times in my life, <laughs> so I'm new. So first thing I do is grab my um, NYX Photogenic HD Photogenic concealer and kind of go under my under part of my eyebrow and go onto the under part of my tail. 
then I line the top part of my eyebrow starting with the tail and then going up into the um, main portion of my eyebrow and you'll see me later on in this clip kind of blending it in with the brush and then along with my finger just to ensure there's no like sharp lines where the concealer is. Now you guys can see the difference between the concealer and the non-concealer side. The concealer side is more like sleek and like ooh la la, while the non-concealer side is just like meh. <laughs> and finally at the end of everything, I take my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara just to clean mascara and I go over kind of like where my actual eyebrow ends because I have like a little piece of hair that's underneath my art and likes to, it just likes to come out and say hello to everybody. I hate that. So I'm done with everything and now I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup and film the outro. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you actually want to see me do like a look on my hair on how I did it and how I made them like all nice and big and fluffy and stuff because my hair is not long. It's like right here. So how I got it up and out, I will make sure to do that and maybe probably like a whole makeup look because I'm kind of digging it. I put little faux freckles on. But tell me down below if you'd like to see. A makeup look slash hair tutorial on this, although you can probably find space buns anywhere. I'll show you how to make them thick, though. This is this is how you make them thick. You're going to need extensions, though, so that's a thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys stay awesome. Bye. Come in on!